next we see about a wireless transaction protocol last class we have seen about a wireless transport security layer on this layer if you want to exchange the data between two peers means you must establish the connection between two peers then only you can send the messages to peers here if you are using a wireless transaction protocol you need not establish the connection between two peers you can directly send the messages to the peers it's mainly designed for mobile devices if you want to establish the transaction between mobile devices you can use wireless transaction protocol wireless transaction protocol offers many advantages to the higher layers it provides a reliability to the datagram services you know very well you cannot the uh, user datagram protocol cannot give a reliable communication but if you are using a wireless transaction protocol it provides a reliability to the datagram protocol and then improved efficiency for connection oriented protocol like a tcp and then it supports for the transaction oriented services like a web browsing in web browsing you need a response request and then response no so it support the transaction also it also offers many features for a higher layers there are class 0 class 1 and then class 2 class 0 provides unreliable messages unreliable message transfer means you cannot expect acknowledgement from the receiver side you can send only the request you cannot expect acknowledgement that is a unreliable message transfer class 1 class 2 provides a reliable uh, message transfer reliable transfer means if you send any request it will you can expect the acknowledgements if the receiver also provide acknowledgement then only you can uh, they do a some work they do a next work otherwise they won't do a next work must give a acknowledgements if we cannot receive uh, sender side uh, cannot receive any acknowledgement we can do a retransmission okay next see how wireless transaction protocol achieve the reliability how means it uh, remove the duplicate messages it remove the duplicate uh, requests and then response also and then retransmits retransmission if any failure occurs between uh, peers or uh, uh, in a communication path it retransmission uh, it provides the retransmission service and then every transaction it provides the acknowledgements then next it provides a unique transaction identifier each and every transaction it should uh, it provide uh, unique identifications so you can identify the which transaction we are using which transaction we can receive the acknowledgements so uh, it provides uh, unique transaction identifier I already told that there is no uh, co connection setup and then connections close setup you can directly send the request and then you can directly receive the response on so that's that's only mentioned here wireless transaction protocol allows for asynchronous transaction asynchronous transaction means you can send and receive the multiple messages and then about that about the transaction if you want to cancel any transaction means a w, um, wireless transaction protocol cancel or abort the transaction also and then you can concatenation of the messages if you want to merge the two messages then you can use the features also and then uh, if you want to uh, send any success or failure messages also you can send here send it here wireless transaction protocol used three type of parameters sorry parameters first one is invoke second one is result third one is abort uh, TR invoke is used to if you want to initiate the new transaction you can use invoke parameters if you want to response or uh, reply to the uh, invoke parameters means you can use a uh, result parameters if you want to cancel any uh, transaction means you can use abort transaction I already told that we are using three type of classes in wireless transaction protocol one is class 0 type second one is class 1 third one is class 2 okay now we, we are going to see about a class 0 type uh, the wireless transaction protocol it offers unreliable transaction unreliable transaction means if you send any request means you cannot expect any acknowledgement from the receiver side okay, that's this transaction is stateless you cannot abort that uh, means if you want to uh, cancel any transaction means you cannot do that uh, they are using a uh, one parameter one is tr hyphen invoke dot request these parameters sorry this parameter has several parameters 
you, you already know about uh, SCI, SP, DA, DP, source address, source port and then destination address, destination port. Here we are using a A. This is a flag. Um, why we are using a A flag here means it will decide, it will decide who is going to give an acknowledgement to the uh, sender. Uh, user going to give acknowledgement, acknowledgement to the user or uh, system itself send data acknowledgements to the user. The based upon a value you can decide then uh, user data next to parameters user data it transmitted to the destination is not uh, any problem then important values c value if here we have mentioned c values equal to zero if the c values zero means we are using class zero type of wireless transaction protocol the c values once means we are using class one type wireless transaction protocol if you are using c values 2 means we are going to use while to class 2 type of wireless transaction protocol that's enough okay last one is hash value already told told that now it provides unique uh, values to the each transaction okay so here hash is used to give a unique identifier for each transaction it provides a simple index unique identifier for the each transaction that's enough okay next see the basic diagram basic transaction diagram for a wireless transaction protocol in we have a two entity one is initiator entity second one is responder entity okay the user on initiator side send the request using a invoke request primitives it has some parameters you know very well about the parameters sa sp da dp a ud c see the c value C value is 0, 0 means we are using class 0 type wireless transaction protocol, okay. It send invoke the PDU to the responder side, in responder side the entity uh, indicate the request to the user using invoke dot int with the same parameters, there is no any changes in the parameters, the same parameters it indicate the request to the uh, user on responder side in this process you cannot expect acknowledgements you can only send the request you cannot expect any acknowledgements and then it doesn't provide any retransmission service this is also important it doesn't provide any retransmission service next we see about a wireless transaction protocol class one type class 1 means it provides a reliable transaction service but without a result messages underline the word without results but it provides reliable reliable means if you send any request you can expect acknowledgements that's the main thing the initiator side okay here you can you know very well about the c values c values equal to 1 so 1 means we are using class one type of wireless transaction protocol here. In class one type, we have uh, two for, two type of diagrams. One is with the user acknowledgement, and then next one is our system automatically generate the acknowledgements. Uh, this values depends upon the flag. Yeah, okay. you know the A values. Based upon the A values, it decides who is going to give acknowledgements user going to give acknowledgements our system automatically generate the acknowledgement to the uh, center okay we will see about the uh, user sorry <coughs> system automatically generate acknowledgements in this diagram basic transaction wireless transaction protocol class one type no user acknowledgements no user acknowledgement means system automatically generate the acknowledgement okay see the diagram and user of the initiator side uh, create a request using a uh, invoke request invoke request you see the c value c value is equal to 1 c value equal to 1 means we are using class 1 type wireless transaction protocol ok it invoke the pdu in responder side it indicates the indicates the request to the responder side uh, users using invoke dot ind indicate indicate with the same parameters with the same parameters c values equal to 1 
and then we are using h dash h dash means this is a hash unique identifier for each transaction see it receive the it receive the request system automatically system automatically send it the acknowledgement pdu to sender okay a user can a user doesn't send it any acknowledgement but system automatically generate the acknowledgement to the sender in sender side uh, that means uh, in the users of initiator side receive the acknowledgement then confirm the request what does it mean it means your request has been reached to the destination this information received by the user this is the first type Next, we will see about a uh, user acknowledgements. See the diagram. We are using class one type with the user acknowledgement. User acknowledgement means uh, respond in response side. User generate the res, uh, generate the acknowledgement to the sender. Okay. In the uh, user of initiator side, send the request to the responder side using invoke PDU via invoke PDU. Uh, it's a responder site it's indicate the user using a invoke the request then user generate user generate response to the acknowledgements or uh, respond to the request then only user send the send the acknowledgement it reaches the sender of the initiator site okay so once received acknowledgement acknowledgement from a responder side the initiator side confirm the request confirm the request to the user this is a two type of you know the difference between how to generate uh, system automatically generate the uh, acknowledgements and then how to use a generator acknowledgement this is mainly this type of transactions mainly used in uh, push services in mobile computing next we are going to see about a uh, wtp class 2 wireless transaction protocol class 2 type class 2 type means you know very well c values now 2 that's it in class 2 type we have uh, one difference one is uh, in class 1 we cannot expect uh, a result message but here we can expect the results message so but uh, we have two types like that no user acknowledgements with the user acknowledgements that's enough uh, in uh, yeah user side of user in the initiator side create a request using a invoke request primitives see the c values c values equal to 2 uh, invoke the pdu and then responder side responder side the entity indicate the request to the user side then user uh, generate a request process the request and then request results request to the center side it's implicitly implicitly give the acknowledgement to the request it means it's implicitly give the acknowledgement to the center side we cannot give a explicit acknowledgement and directly request the results pdu it receive the confirmation once it receive the result request it confirm the request confirmation and also indicate the results request to the uh, user side and then in center side response to the acknowledgement response to the results and then it gives to the responder side in responder side receive the acknowledgements pdu and then confirm the results that's it next here second type in the second type with the user acknowledgement first generate acknowledgement to the request then request the results message okay first in a uh, initiator side generate a request through the invoke pdu it indicates the request to the responder side then responder uh, responder side user 
response the request messages so it send the acknowledgement feed to you it confirm then automatically user give the request uh, request to the result message it also indicate the center side then it respond the results message to the uh, responder side through acknowledgement video then it receive the acknowledgement video what's the difference between two means in this diagram in this diagram it acknowledgements happen so first give the acknowledgement to the request then only send the request to the results message then it provide the results message to, uh, acknowledgement to the results message um, in classroom with the user acknowledgements mainly used in a distributed computing okay the in uh, with the user acknowledgements we have one problem because uh, every uh, responder side users take a time for processing the uh, request so so in the time of in the time of the if take calculation of uh, results take uh, sometimes so initiator hold on the problem uh, retransmission of the invoke pdu uh, if takes a time means what will happen the receiver uh, wait for sometimes then again retransmit the invoke pdu so if you want to avoid this problem they'll use a hold on hold on method to prevent retransmission of a invoke pdu after timeout uh, after timeout the responder automatically generate automatically generate acknowledgement see the diagram it generate the request it invoke the pdu in responder side indicate the request it takes us sometimes to process the request if timeout means what will happen again the receiver sorry uh, sender send the invoke pdu so avoid this you can use hold on method maybe if timeout means the responder side automatically generate the acknowledgement pdu there is no wait for user acknowledgement in the system itself send the acknowledgement pdu to the uh, sender side it's confirmed remaining topic is same as the previous diagram that's only main thing here okay uh, this is so that responder is still alive and currently busy processing the request so that's only it showed that okay this is the concept of wireless translation protocol how we are going to establish the um, sorry how we are going to exchange the data between the initiator and then responder side uh, what are the classes we are using how they are providing the reliability reliability to the messages these are the things we have seen in this topic many of the features not discussed many of the features of uh, wireless transition protocol not discussed here uh, in uh, in our book also uh, wireless transition protocol have uh, many features we can refer the next and then uh, further in this chapter okay if you have any doubts you can directly call me uh, directly message me or call me okay thank you